Paul is a faithful man of God. And he, Paul's got all this trials and tribulations. We talk about the thorn in the flesh, and some scholars think it was like this big, goopy eye disease. No, it wasn't. It's listed in Corinthians. He was shipwrecked. He was lost at sea. Uh, he was in peril of his countrymen. He was in peril of foreigners. He, he went a day and a night in the water. He got bit by a snake. I mean, all these things. He was stoned, not like with like Colorado stone, but like, like stones. Um, that was that was the that was the messenger of Satan that was given to buffet him. That was the enemy testing him, this faithful man of God. Maybe some of you feel like, ah, oh, I've lost myself. Where where was your point of greatest challenge? That's probably right where you are. You know, when people get depressed or they they, you know, go through a marriage lull or a midlife crisis of some kind, and they go, I just don't even know who I am anymore. Yep, that's exactly what the enemy wants you to say. He's been pounding on your identity your whole life to the point that you feel like you're totally lost. That's what he'll do. If you're struggling to recognize the voice of God in your life, I'm just going to encourage you to listen to the voice that speaks life. Listen to the voice that speaks purpose. Listen to the voice that speaks goodness and holiness and destiny. Not the voice that tells you you're a worm 